my name is Fiera Danen. I'm a first year MBA student at the Stanford Graduate School of Business. And today we're at the Cool Product Expo. Um, so we're a team of six people who put this together and then a small army of volunteers. And the idea is to bring in cool companies which have a tangible product which people can play with and interact with and touch. And the product needs to be new and innovative. Um, so a lot of these companies are very close to product launch, um, have just launched. It really needs to be like new on the market and this is the first time you see it and you go, wow. We want to attract students who might be interested in working for one of the companies or faculty or staff who might want to work with them, uh, investors, just the community to have fun and, and have a good time here. Hi, my name is Roberto. I work with uh, Oru Kayak. I do product development, product testing. Uh, I work with marketing and a whole slew of other things. Anton, the founder, uh, is a longtime paddler and wanted a kayak while he was living in Berkeley, but he couldn't. Uh, he didn't have a place to store it in his condo. So he ended up storing his kayak at his parents' house. Now he was sitting around one day reading a New Yorker uh, about Robert Lang. The article talked about origami and all of its uses. So Anton thought to himself, ah, I wonder if I can make an origami kayak. So he started experimenting. The first few, you know, they were, uh, they were a lot of work in progress stuff and a little bit of duct tape and love involved. And then uh, 25 iterations later, the kayak you see here is, uh, is, is what, what resulted. So this is corrugated plastic. It's the same stuff you see uh, in signboards for politicians when they're promoting. Uh, if you go to the post office, it's the same stuff you see mail in. So we've done a 20,000 fold test to make sure it's reliable and it's actually very durable and, and it's fantastic. When it's folded like we have it here, it's very rigid and creates a fantastic hole for a kayak. So. My name is Chris Chong from Sayuan. Since uh, smartphones and tablet PCs became mainstream, a lot of people are adapting to the technology. And what we're noticing is that a lot of people are actually doing heavy typing on these devices. For example, your text, your homework, your work, a lot of emails. But you're, you're, you're restricted to a very small form factor of a keyboard on a on-screen, touchscreen keyboard. So we figure out a way to come up with a Bluetooth device that projects a full-size keyboard, so you have access to the full-size keyboard as well as um, full display of your, of your um, smart device. The model name is called the Magic Cube, and we developed and patented a technology that allows you to project a pattern onto a surface and use it as an input device, and in this case, in a form of a keyboard.